So, you want to make a cloud in Blender. Well, previously you had to be Mother Nature for that to happen, but now, now you can be little Timmy in his basement using a 3D program that we all love and know called Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to make a Toon Cloud. And I thought this was really, really cute. It reminds me of uh, Toy Story or uh, maybe uh, 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 an anime uh, show. Some, this is something very cute, a, a, a very cartoon uh, type of cloud. A uh, very specific type of cloud. But I thought it was really cute nonetheless. So it's very simple to do. We've done this before. Um, we've used this technique before. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of default cube. And I'm going to select our lamp and hit delete. Delete delete that as well. And I'm just going to move our camera out of the scene for now because we don't we don't really need it. Uh, I'm not, But like I said, if you're going to be rendering this, you're going to need a camera. But for today's tutorial, we're not going to do that. So we're going to shift A to add in a meatball. And this meatball is going to be a ball. Uh, and as you can see, it's kind of low res right now. You can see all the edges and hardnesses. So we're going to go over here to the right-hand side and go to Object Data and change the view, uh, the resolution viewport all the way down um, to 0 0.05. Now, if this is too much for your computer to handle, you can always just do 0.1 or maybe even probably can get away from, probably can get away with uh, 0.2 as well. You can see it's kind of getting a little, a little messed up there. But I'm going to go ahead and put mine on 0.2. 05 because I, I don't have issues with that. So we're gonna go ahead and change the influence uh, threshold down to 0.2 as well. And I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift D to duplicate this this meatball and uh, put it kind of on the side there. And I'm gonna kind of try and make a cloud like shape. Now if I want this to be completely flat, I would hit one on my numpad to go into front view, but I don't really want it to be completely flat. I'm going to kind of try and make it a little more 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift D a couple of times and just put a couple of these around in a cloud like shape. I'm going to move some of them forward and backwards. I'm hitting G to move these, uh, these meatballs around. Um, I'm going to hit S to scale some of them up and some of them down. So, you know, some pieces are bigger, some are smaller. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of grab each individual one here, kind of move them around a little bit, uh, make sure nothing looks like it's kind of spacey. Um, and once I have a shape that I like, I'm going to go ahead and maybe start tapering the ends off. So I'm going to hit Shift D, duplicate them, and hit S to scale it down a little bit and kind of make it a little smaller on the ends as, you know, a cloud looks. Um, and the same thing on this side as well. Maybe this one will be shorter. There's, a, there's usually a longer side and a shorter side with clouds, I've noticed. And this looks too, like, pokey here, so I'm going to kind of try and see if I can smooth some of this out a little bit, maybe with a, a giant ball right there. And I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to move this one in because it's looking kind of looking kind of lumpy. Uh, maybe about that. That's fine. Um, I enjoy that. Now you can always change and fix this by going ahead and hitting the... Um, influence threshold and changing this value so if you see the lower I go so I can go 0.01 the lower I go the sharper these are going to be so if you want a super cartoon cloud that's kind of cute right but if you want to go a super with a super soft cloud something like 0.4 or 0.5 or something like that could probably get something good maybe what was one look like one even I mean that still looks like a cloud I guess but it's not the style that I'm particularly going for so I'm gonna change mine back to 0 0.01 uh, now I, I think that looks kind of neat we'll go ahead and mess around with this a little bit but uh, now, once we have that done, I'm going to hit Shift uh, A, and we're going to add in a light, and this light's going to be a sunlight. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these um, uh, these cloud pieces by selecting the actual cloud itself, and then up oh, hitting, hitting B to box select everything, and then hitting B once again and clicking and dragging with my middle mouse button, clicking it in, so making sure the middle mouse button goes down, don't scroll it. I'm gonna click there and then just drag a box over top of that line, which is the sun lamp, and deselect that. And I'm gonna hit G to grab all of the cloud pieces and move them up there. I'm gonna gra grab our lamp again. And now with the color is set to white, as you can see. So if I go to uh, rendered viewport shading, you can see we have a light coming down from the top there, which is very nice. Uh, but now what I want to do is this is not bright enough, so I'm going to go ahead and turn our strength from 1 to 100. And there we go. I'm also going to hit Shift D and then right click to cancel the movement and hit RX 90 on my keyboard and hit Enter to confirm that movement. Now, you can see it's pretty much stark white now, uh, almost. 
So what I'm going to do to fix that, actually, wait, no, uh, I'm sorry. Hit RX uh, 90 again. I should hit 180. I'm sorry. I, my, that's my mistake. RX 180 on your numpad to have it go straight upwards. So uh, 180. There we go. It's, it should go, the, the second lamp should go straight up, not 90. Do 180 instead. That's my mistake. We're going to go ahead and change the uh, color of the one that's shooting upwards to a nice dark blue. Something like that. Looks pretty good. Now you can see this does not look the best. We have all these weird black areas and it's not very good looking and whatever. So what we're going to do to fix that is I'm going to go ahead and turn shadow off on both of our lamps. So just untick that on both of those. So now you can see it looks pretty good. Now the issue is, is that we have this like hard line. It doesn't look that great. Um, we can fix that by going ahead and turning the angle down. So I'm going to turn the angle on zero. Uh, if we mess around, if we mess around with this value, you can see if I if I raise the blue light value, you see that things kind of get nice and soft, which is kind of what I want. So I'm gonna put this angle on maybe one 180. That looks pretty good. And then the one on the the one on the bottom going down, I'm also gonna might as well just put on 180. So the white color. Oh, that, well, that's too much for the white. So the white color, maybe we'll do 50. Yeah, 50 looks good. I like that. It looks really nice. It's cute. Um, and then uh, the one. So the one going down, the white, the white color one, um, this one going down, is on 50, and then the one going straight up is on 180. All right, very cool. So now you can see we have a nice cloud here. It looks look awesome. And the cool thing about this is, like I said, there's so many different uh, ways to make a cloud that you can really get away with doing anything. Um, so it's just it's 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 very customizable. Is like what I'm trying to say. So, like I said, you have a very small. You can have a very small ball, you have a very big ball. Uh, it just works really, really well for um, a cute cartoon cloud style. I really like the way that it looks. And like I said, if you were to go ahead and uh, nope, if you were if you were to go ahead, if you were to go ahead and put this in material viewport mode, you can see uh, if you grab the cloud and hit delete, it'll delete everything. But you have to grab the outer ring. Um, if I go to material right here. And then drop this down and go to scene lights. Make sure that's on. And then turn world opacity all the way up and blur all the way up. Or not all the way up, but almost all the way up. And then change this to a nice, like, bluish one that we have here, which is this bad boy. It just looks so cute. Look at that. Just zoom out real quick. Turn my overlays off. Very cute. That looks like a cloud if I ever did see one. Very cute cartoon, uh, tune-like cloud up in the sky. Look, it's just going across. Woo! Um, all right, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.